So James, let me ask you a question. Is this what I gotta have to get into swim baiting, dude? You know what, Chad? You don't always have to have the biggest, most expensive bait out there. If you want to get into swim baiting and you're looking for something that's budget-minded and you can throw on a pretty inexpensive setup, we're going to go over three options for you and we're going to cover top, middle, and bottom. All right. Are we talking top, middle, bottom price point, top, middle, bottom presentation as far as depth? What are we talking here? If you're going to go out and you're going to bring three baits with you on the water and you don't know what the fish are doing that day, you want to make sure you have all your bases covered. So we're talking top, middle, bottom as in presentation. A top water bait, a mid or slow sinking bait, so you can hit that middle water column and a bottom bait, something that is going to sink and you can work bottom structure with. Here we go. All right, so here's the deal, guys. If you don't know who I am, I'm Chad Hoover Kike, Bassin TV, uh, on YouTube and on a couple of networks out there. James won a contest to come down and fish with us at Bienville Plantation with myself and Gene Jensen, the Fluke Master. And for the last three days, he's been throwing these ginormous baits uh, and ended up catching, you know, one good fish, a four pounder. Yeah, yeah one decent um, fish. But the fishing conditions were tough. The fact is, I respect the hell out of somebody that will come down and commit to a method type of fishing. And here's why. I tell everybody all the time that there's an evolution of fishing. It starts with any fish, many fish, big fish, and method fish. In other words, in the beginning, you want to catch any fish that you can catch. I did. After that, you want to catch as many fish as you can catch. After that, you want to catch as big a fish as you can catch. And after that, you want to catch fish a specific way. And this guy has committed to catching fish this way with swim baits. So, you know, I've thrown some swim baits, some Spro stuff, some Huddleston stuff, you know, but nothing, uh, you know, some bullshad. I'm a big yep. fan of Mike Buka's bullshad, and I've thrown some of that stuff, but nothing on the proportions and the scale of what you're throwing here. So here's the question that I asked James, and then we were like, oh, my gosh, we got to get the camera out and share this. Yep. If I was going to get started and I wanted three baits, the first time I'm heading out, three baits. So tell me, okay, Chad, regardless of experience level or how much you know about fishing, um, and keep in mind that you want a guy to be able to throw it probably with the tackle, that he, with, the, with the gear that he's already got. Right. Give me three baits for a guy to get started swim bait fishing. So we're going to start off with a topwater bait, and then I'm going to pick a rat. Rat is one of my favorite, favorite topwater baits. This is a big rat. You could buy something like the Spro BBZ Rat, which comes in a... Comes in a 40, a 30, a 40, and a 50 size. The 30 size is a perfect starter rat. You can throw it on any of the tackle you've got. Um, and then we're gonna move into a slow sinking presentation. Now, a slow sinking presentation in, in the swim bait world is just like counting down a jig or counting down anything else that is going to sink slowly. So my pick is a glide bait. A glide bait is going to work in various, various different situations. What it does is this is a S waiver 200 and this weighs about three ounces. Now this is towards the top end for a traditional gear, but you can get its little brother, the 168, and you could throw that on a flipping stick if that's all you got. And this sinks at about a foot to a foot and a half a second, and it'll get down to 10 feet, 15 feet. All you gotta do is count it down one foot every second. Now, if we're looking for something on the bottom, if, if, if you're in the dead of winter and they're hunkered down, they're in 30 feet of water, this weekend on Bienville, we found them sitting at around anywhere between 10 and 12 feet. Sometimes I'd see them at 15 and I needed something that was going to get down there towards the bottom. And my pick for that is going to be a Huddleston. Now this is a Huddleston eight inch. This is a big bait and you are going to need a specialized rod, but it's little brother, the 68 special is much lighter. And this little boot tail gives off a ton of action in the water and you cast it out, you let it sink and you can tick this thing along the bottom and they'll come up right behind and engulf it. So they come in a rate of fall five and a rate of fall 12. Five feet for every 10 seconds or 12 feet for every 10 seconds. So you pick your poison. If you're fishing super deep, you might wanna use the 12. If you're fishing normal depths, 10, 15, 20, 30 feet, go with the five because why? Because the five is naturally more buoyant and comes up and over cover a little bit easier. Little tip for you there. So those are my three picks for if you're 
just getting into swim baiting and you want some options that aren't gonna break the bank and you might be able to throw with your regular gear depending on what you have. Now don't overload a rod because you might end up snapping it. But if you've got a flipping stick out there that'll handle up to an ounce or two, try one of these baits out. All right, so here's what I'm gonna say. I've been looking at everything on the table and most of it looks you know, like something that I would throw. That right there would get eaten all day and twice on Sunday everywhere I fish for bass across the southeast. It's a baby bass presentation. But this right here, now this isn't even something I think of when I think of the big swim baits, but that thing looks like every brim swimming here. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this for the weekend, man, yeah, man uh, for the it. rest of the week and see if I can't smash one. Take it. All right, so do a, the, these guys a favor, just in case that this ends up on my channel and I link people over who come over, and this is the first time they've had any exposure to swim baiting, okay? okay. Uh, give them the rundown real quick one more time of those three baits, what they are, and then link them up in the description box so that they can find them easier. Yeah, of course. Because this stuff is hot, it's, it's, it's like a cult. Some of the almost. baits, yeah, some of the baits are a little bit harder to find. Something like this, this is kind of like the holy grail of swim baits. This is a Roman made mother. This is a big, big bait, and you are not throwing this without a specialized rod, reel, and line. But for the stuff that we showed you, and we're gonna link down below in the description box, you can throw with your regular gear and it's not gonna be a problem. Again, we're gonna start off with a wrap presentation is my favorite top water presentation. Like I said, this is a big one, but you can get smaller ones like the Spro 30 or 40. We're gonna go with a slow sinking glide bait like this S Waver 200. Again, for traditional gear, this might be a little big, so go with its little brother, the 168. You can throw that on any heavier rod or the Huddleston 68 Special Slow Sinking Soft Bait. This is a jig hook application, so you're gonna want something with a stout backbone as opposed to these treble baits. You're gonna want something with a little more parabolic bend to it. All right, so the idea of this video, guys, was I asked James to give me the quick rundown, and I felt like there'd be a lot of other people out there who would be in the same boat. He mentioned specialized tackle. You'll need a different setup. You'll need rods, reels, line, all that stuff. And that's beyond the scope of this video. But do this guy a favor and watch one of these other videos right up here. or Ford, And then Ford. subscribe at that button right there. Hit it. And learn all about the rod, the reels, the lines. And then, you know, work your way up to something like this when you get the swim bait addiction. I know one thing. I just spent a whole lot more money. <laughs> and I ain't <laughs> even ordered my first bait yet. Don't so, tell Christy. So check this guy out, Swimbait Chronicles. Watch all of his other videos. Well, actually, check me out, Kayak Bass and TV. If they're watching this, they're already this guy. checking you out. So anyway, we're going to be doing a lot more collaborating together. Uh, it's great having him down here. Uh, it sounded like a bomb going off every time his bait <laughs> hits the water. Uh, but I'm looking forward to putting some of these things to the test and see if I can't catch some big old bass on some swim baits. Yes, sir. James, I appreciate you having me. I appreciate it too, buddy. Subscribe right Subscribe there. Subscribe and Press like. that little button right there and follow this guy. Show him some love. Give him some support. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. And I always let everybody know, stay safe out there and tight lines. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up, smash the button, comment below, all that good stuff. Thank <laughs> you.